Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to transfer your Bitcoin from your Exodus wallet over to a hardware wallet like a Trezor. And if you're not familiar with the Exodus desktop wallet, it basically gives you a secure way to manage and exchange your cryptocurrencies on your laptop or your desktop computer. And they actually offer 130 different cryptocurrency assets that you can store on your desktop wallet. Uh, you can also exchange those currencies from, say, Bitcoin to ETH or any of the other 130 cryptocurrencies from inside the wallet itself. In addition to you can send or receive cryptocurrencies, I often take my profits off of my exchanges, send them to my Exodus wallet, and then eventually transfer them over to a hardware wallet like the uh, Trezor. And with that being said, that is one of the main features I like about the Exodus desktop wallet is the ability to interact with my Trezor hardware wallets. And if you're not familiar with Trezor, it's basically a offline cold storage wallet that you can connect to your computer. And in a moment, I'll show you exactly how to do that. And the reason why you want to store your cryptocurrency offline is it is in reality the most secure way to actually store your cryptocurrencies and avoid being hacked. So let's get to it. And as you can see, I've collected some Bitcoin in the form of my trading profit on this desktop Exodus wallet. And now I need to move some of it offline to cold storage. And as you can see, I've already connected one Trezor device to this desktop. I'm going to now connect a second one to withdraw more of this Bitcoin onto cold storage. So when you receive a new cold storage wallet device, you wanna make sure that it's sealed in its original packaging and the security, I'm not sure if you can see that, but you wanna make sure the security tabs are still intact. And so now I will attempt to open this wallet and cutting through the security tab. And these things are not easy to open. You pretty much destroy the box, or at least I generally do. And just like that, you'll get a new little cold storage device. And you also get a couple pages to keep your secret seed key letters on in order to restore a wallet if for some reason you lose the password. And it includes a little USB device to connect to your computer. And I think it has instructions, but who reads? And I just got a trading alert, so I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Now I need to connect this Trezor device to my computer. And I just connect it to, via USB cable. And for most of the Trezors I have, I've owned for a few years now. And so I always need to update the firmware. And you'll also get a message on the Trezor itself that says, Welcome, please visit trezor.io slash start. Uh, pretty sure you're not going to be able to see that and so we go to that web page and I have the Trezor one so I have to choose that as my device and they give you a little security to make sure that tab was sealed like I mentioned er earlier so now we'll go continue to the wallet and I need to install the latest firmware so I just give that a click and I can actually see it working on the screen and it says on the screen, new firmware has been updated. You can unplug your Trezor. And so I'll, I unplug the Trezor. And now it wants me to reconnect the Trezor to continue. And I need to create a new wallet. Now, if I needed to recover an existing wallet, that's where the secret seed key comes in to play. But in this case, I need to create a wallet. And so I click on that. And the first thing I need to do is create a backup and that's going to give me these secret keys. And so I'm going to go ahead and give that a click and it kind of gives you a warning to let you know your recovery seed is the backup key to all your cryptocurrencies and applications. And I believe it can only be displayed once. Yeah, it can only be displayed once. Never make a digital copy. There's your warnings. You got to click. I understand. And then you click continue. And then I'm not going to show you, but your secret key appears on the small screen of the Trezor. And so you need to write them down in the order in which they appear. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. 
Okay, then once you're finished, they give you an option to click this button again, and it will run through all of them again. And it's a good idea to do that to verify that you copied all the words down in the correct order. So I give this little button here a click, and I'm just going to run through them real fast by clicking that button to the next. And then once you've run through the second time, you'll click that button one last time to finish. And you can see I have successfully backed up my device. And what that will basically do, if something was to happen to this device, you lose it, it's broken, those 24 words will allow you to restore onto a new Trezor and gain access to your wallet again. And so now I need to set up a pin number for this actual Trezor. And so on the screen itself of the Trezor, the numbers are in a scrambled pattern. And so I need to punch in the numbers here to set up a new pin number. And now I have my pin entered. I just click enter pin and it wants me to re-enter the pin basically to confirm. Click enter. And now my pin is set. And so I click continue and now we can name the device. And so I'll name it. Click continue, enter my pin once again, and it wants me to confirm the name change on the screen, so I just need to press this key here. We're finished with the naming. Click continue, and they give you the option to bookmark the website in your browser so you don't end up going to the wrong website in the future and get uh, attacked that way. Click continue. And you can enter your email here if you want to stay updated with their newsletter. I already get their newsletter, so I'm going to skip that. You can follow them on these social media. Click continue. And now I'm all set and my Trezor is ready. So I should be able to jump back over here to Exodus. And if you get this air of Trezor unable to connect, it's because I still have it open on the Trezor screen. So I need to actually close that. All right, so the Trezor is set up. I'm connected to my Exodus wallet. I need to enter the pin code for the Trezor. Click confirm. It's found the Trezor. So now I click connect. And now the two are pairing together. And since this is a brand new Trezor, there will be zero balance on this unit. Click continue to proceed. And you can see we have zero holdings on this particular Trezor. And so now I want to transfer Bitcoin from my main Exodus wallet over to this new Trezor wallet. So to do that, I will jump over to the wallet tab in Exodus and I want to select receive. And now I need to copy the Bitcoin address. So I just click on copy, exit out, go back to my portfolio, jump over to my Exodus wallet, go to the wallet. And I want to send Bitcoin in this case. And I need to paste in the wallet address for the Trezor. And it confirms it's a good address. And I'm going to send half a Bitcoin to the Trezor. And click send. It will confirm I want to send this amount to the Trezor. And I always try to confirm the last few digits and first few digits and they do match up on that wallet address. So I'll click send and it's sending that Bitcoin. And you can see the transaction is sent a few seconds ago too. And in this case, I can highlight the little Trezor sign and it says KJA, which is the name of this particular Trezor. So if I jump back over to my portfolio, Sure enough, if we look at the KJA Trezor wallet, that Bitcoin is now there. And so I think that pretty much wraps it up. I just wanted to show you how to transfer your Bitcoin from your online Exodus desktop wallet to an offline cold storage Trezor wallet. And so once I disconnect this device from my computer, that Bitcoin will be offline and I'll deposit this device into one of my fireproof safes and it will be secure there. In addition to, I have my seed codes that if something happened to this device, I could just open a new device and restore this account on a new device. 
So with that all being said, if you like the video, do me a favor, spike that like. Also, be sure to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss future videos. And if you have any questions or comments, leave those down in the comment section below. And I will leave a link to both the Exodus Wallet and Trezor in the description down below. In closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. We'll see you in the next video.